<laughs> but anyways, you know what I'm saying? So I get where he's coming from when he says all this stuff that's going on because, you know, yeah, had a party. It is what it is. Why should I listen to somebody? That's nothing, too. It's like, why are we going to listen to people who tell us to do one thing, but then they do another, which is dumb. We shouldn't listen to nobody in the first place, but ourselves and our community and the people around us. Seems like my life been really changing on me. I know some niggas out here hating on me. Hey, I see the bitches how they changing on me. I know some niggas out here snaking on me. Hey, see like my All right, now we're probably on our sixth or seventh reaction today. I don't know. I was like, you know, I might as well just flood the goddamn floodgates. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and flood the gates. I let everybody know that Twigga's here to stay. But look, here's the deal. <clears throat> we got Samson. Birthday bash. I just had a birthday too, uh, two weeks ago, my, uh, September 13th. Same day Tupac died, you know what I'm saying? So I just had a birthday too. So if you could, please, if you guys are seeing this video, could you please comment down below and say happy birthday? You know, I got my PayPal, my cash. So you want to see a nigga a dollar for a birthday? That's cool, do that too. But I ain't tripping and all of that. But nah, one thing I do want to say, I appreciate all the new subscribers that just been subscribed to my channel. Make sure you hit that like button. The more you hit that like button, the more YouTube's going to share it. And then you share it too as well and let a lot more people know. I was trying to get to 6K. I'm finna hit that, hopefully. I know I'm gonna hit it for sure tonight. I'm really trying to get to 10K. 10,000 subs, so let's go ahead and run it up. But look, it's birthday bad Samson. Let's go ahead and get into because Samson's gonna be talking him. Shit. What happened? Ain't that Erica Badu? Did Obama scale back massive 60th birthday party due to COVID-19 concerns? After news reports said former U.S. President Barack Obama was putting to host hundreds of people of his 60th birthday party party in early August 2021, he reduced the guest list to just family and close friends. All right, so what they got to do with it? Okay. Beautiful. They're following all the safety precautions. People are going to sporting events that are bigger than this. This is going to be safe. This is a sophisticated vaccinated crowd. Okay. And, and this is just about optics. So what's wrong with that then? <coughs> what's wrong with it then? Hold on. I'm on. I mean, before I say anything, I feel some type of way. Let me watch it. One hell of a party. Huh. I wish I was there. Yeah. But with all this COVID, I bet you guys were scared. <laughs> you probably followed every rule with all the activities you did that night. I mean, huh. you probably kept six feet apart the whole time, and you only took your mask off for of pictures, right? <laughs> I bet you did. I bet you took every precaution. I bet you stopped the party every 20 minutes just to check everybody's temperature often. I bet you... No, they didn't. You know they didn't do none of that in their damn birthday party. You know they didn't. They were just living their life and everything else. So who knows if it's real or if it's fake. I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh my God, this and this and that. I already know we're going to have some drama over this video and everything else. But who knows what's really going on because a lot of us really don't know. We think we know and we only go based off of what they've been telling us about all the shit that's going on. But we really don't honestly know. You did. I bet everybody had to show the proof of their vax. And if they didn't, then they had to go home because Obama would never approve of this crap. Huh. I bet all the servers and caterers had to wear gloves when they served you your fake dessert. I really hope that you paid them first because they were risking their lives celebrating your date of birth. You, said you scaled it back because there's too much at stake. Yeah, I bet you scaled it back because y'all motherfuckers are a bunch of snakes. Uh -huh. They get a big group together. The media would put me through the shredder. He ain't lying, though. He not lying if he was to do something like this. If any of us was to do something like this that we're not elite, they would trip. They would have a fucking razzle, not a razzle dazzle, a little, not a shindig, a little, what's what I'm looking for? Yeah, they'll be fucked off about it. They'll be like, damn, what the fuck going on? You know what I'm saying? They'll be all mad. Oh my God, I can't believe, you know what I'm saying? We're doing all this shit, man. I understand that. I'd be responsible for everybody's death for the next six months. A super spreader. But don't, talk about, don't be stupid, never. This event was sophisticated. This ain't no bean toss, beer chugging bullshit in the backyard listening to a playlist of uh. country music. You dumb, useless, stupid, small little measly runs. We can party if we damn well please, but you? Not even once. Don't think about it. Matter of fact, it'd be better if you just didn't think at all. Now shut up. Stop it. Put your mask on. Hey, Samson boy, you mad, my nigga? What's wrong with you? <laughs> What you saw? I get it where you coming from because you like, well, damn, how you going to tell us to put our mask on and shit? Well, it wasn't you. It was that because this, this shit happened before you. But I'm just saying, how everybody going to tell us to put our mask on and do all that shit? Elites ain't doing it, which I get that, bro. 
I do. Before we have to get more deeply involved, we were outside, but under a tent. So technically yeah. that makes it inside, but it was still outside. You know what I meant. Yeah, uh, real talk. <laughs> you're never going to hear the story from us. Uh. We just have Don Lemon and Chris Cuomo talk about Trump and how horrible he was. Uh. The media uh, no, no, they the did If they call when the new Republican did this, and that just goes to show the double standards and the hypocrisies when it comes to this issue. Stop. There's double standards. There's all type of hypocrisy. That, that, I didn't know that word, huh? <laughs> hypocrisy. A lot of different shit is going on, bro. It, it's, it's a lot of shit we don't know about. People, this person can do this. These people can do this. These people can do that. These people, but these people can't. It's all fucking backwards, bro. Like, when, we, once we, once a lot of us understand what's really going on in the world, it will be a fucking better place. Or actually, it'd be a more understanding place because without you knowing what's really going on, you don't know. But if you know, then you know. And I hope you get that. Comment down below. Let me know if you get that. And it just piss you off what? They come and they cut your small business off They grip yeah. the claws around They constrict you You ain't making shit Then they tell you to suck it up And limp it off yeah. Yeah. They skip and hop into their private jets And fly Real to the island To cry the rest Burning all that fuel into the sky While our fragile climate Is in such a dire stretch Real. All these dying people Packed in the hospitals I think you should feel A tad bit responsible You uh. could have probably Killed so many friends of yours You just added to the top of the toll <laughs> you say to me what? I get what you're saying about that Because he had his party And then he got all just covered can't even say that fucking word. They might even demonetize this word just because I said that stupid ass fucking word now. The C19, you know what I'm saying? They got all that bullshit going around. So, of course, it's only right to think that maybe he was, you know, that party did help fuck a lot of shit up in the world, you know what I'm saying? But we don't know, bro. Honestly, we really don't know what all goes around. I've been a lot around a lot of people who had COVID, and not once have I been sick like that or just anything else, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I, don't, I don't believe in it. That's just me. I keep it out of my mind. I don't believe it. I don't let none of it bother me. And that's just me and what I do. Sorry. When I walk into Kroger maskless, why would I follow these rules that you yourself don't even practice? Uh. Perhaps if you stuck to your story, we wouldn't be so fucking disorderly. You say that it's dangerous and then you do shit like this, and that's just what floors me. Uh. Well, you're my role model. You're the one I'm supposed to follow, so I'm gonna call everybody I know and throw a big ass party like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> the Obama way, like a Nancy Pelosi spa day. We're gonna rip the mask off and hug each other till we can't. It's like, it's weird for me because I do fuck with Obama, you know what I'm saying? I like him and everything else. Not as much as you would think, you know what I mean? But I do like him a little bit and shit, so it's kind of like, oh, let me go ahead and get my, my thumbnail. <laughs> but anyways, you know what I'm saying? So I get where he's coming from when he says all this stuff that's going on because, you know, yeah, had a party, it is what it is. Why should I listen to somebody? That's nothing too. It's like, why are we going to listen to people who... Tell us to do one thing, but then they do another, which is dumb. We shouldn't listen to nobody in the first place, but ourselves and our community and the people around us, the people. That's who we should be listening to, not the elites, man. I'm sorry. Can't hold on any longer. Yeah. It may not be sophisticated as yours, but I got to work with what my pay can afford. I'm just taking orders from the people that matter, the powerful ones. This is straight from the source. Thanks, uh. Obama. I get the message. Your actions spoke loud and clear. The World Health Organization, the CDC, and Fauci. Here's the <laughs> How okay. long are we gonna do this? It's all up to us and it always has been. There really ain't nothing new to it. Real talk though, it's all up to us and it has been. There really ain't nothing new because it has to do with us and it has to do with them. We control this, not them. I promise you that. Our rights are being stripped. All you gotta do is take a look around. Uh, and it's only gonna get worse from here unless we as a whole put our foot down. Real talk. It's unless a big we club. as a whole put our feet down. That means all of us, whatever race you is, all of us put our foot down as a whole. We will get over everything that we've ever fucking had to overcome. Think about that. And you ain't in it. If you stand with me, I'll stand with you. I'm standing with you, pimp on the play. Real talk. Real talk, bro. This the type of shit and the type of music that I like hearing because it's, you know, we're woke. It's, it's. It has to do with woke people and people who are understand what's really going on in the world. Because a lot of people don't. A lot of people out here do not understand what really goes on in this entire freaking world. And it's sad, bro, because we too old now. I know it's a lot of us that's just born this decade and the decade before. But it's a lot of us who's born the decade before that and then before and before and before that. We should all know what really goes on in this world, man. Like, for real, we should be a lot smarter than what we are. But we're not. You know what I'm saying? We're not. How is it that this one thing has took over the entire world and nothing ain't never done this shit before ever in our lives? None of this has ever happened.
But shit, it is what it is, man. Look, I love y'all, man. Y'all stay safe out there. And don't be throwing no birthday bashes. I'm lying. Go ahead and do what you do. Shout out.